Generating a SAG tension run in PLS CAD Lite is very quick and easy. We'll demonstrate this by first opening up PLS CAD. We'll do a File, New, PLS CAD Lite. I'll give it a name of SAG Tension. And we have a wizard here. Most of this should be pretty self-explanatory, but you can choose whatever design criteria that you want. In this case, we'll choose any SC medium grade B construction. Uh, we'll just string a single wire in here, and we'll leave the other options as they are. Uh, we'll get a table here where we can change some stuff, but just to go to a SAG tension run, we'll click OK, and we will go to Sections, SAG Tension. We get a quick answer here. If you click on the Report button, you'll get the full detail. I'll maximize this so we can see this in detail, and there is a SAG tension chart. The default is a simple Drake ACSR 795 cable and the default is a ruling span of 250 feet. If you'd like to change any of that, it's very easy. Line Setup. And within Line Setup, we can come in and choose any one of just about over 5,000 cables that we already have available. You can also use your own cables in here. So we can choose a copper or a luma weld or any other ACSR for that matter. And I'll just grab a, uh, uh, a condor, for example, here. Uh, our span length, the default is 250 feet. If you want to do a 1,000 foot rolling span, you can do that. Um, and then finally, we can choose the attachment height. Uh, this does make a difference. The attachment height does affect uh, wind with height calculation. So you will get a different solution uh, depending on different attachment heights. We'll leave it on the default 60. Now we have a longer span. And if you want to get, generate a new sag tension run, sections, sag tension, and uh, we'll click on the report button to get the full report. And this is the full report of the SAG tension with our Condor ACSR with a 1,000 foot level ruling span. Uh, you can simply right click in any one of these reports and you can print it or you can uh, export it. You can table view it and copy it to Excel. Uh, if you do this right here, we can get the inner and outer strands or we can go to our SAG tension report and you can copy this directly to Excel if that's something that you want to do. Adjusting any things within PLS CAD Lite are very easy. If you go to Criteria, Weather, if you want to change your wind speed, if you want to go from the NESC medium 4 pounds per square foot to another one, for example, if you want to use a different ice, if you want to use a different wind speed, for example, maybe you're in a 100 mile per hour wind speed district, or maybe you're in a uh, maybe you're in a one inch ice district for 250D. You'd also like to design this for an extra two inch ice. Uh, very uh, editable, whatever you want to do on your projects. You can just change the numbers here, click OK. And of course, when you do a new SAG tension run, uh, all of those new data points will be used with our heavy ice and the higher wind speeds and everything. Um, if you want to totally change design criteria, you can go to criteria, load criteria. And uh, you can load any of the 2012 uh, or any of the previous NESCs uh, that we have available. Uh, we have many available for just uh, grade B construction, uh, grade C for distribution projects only. Uh, where we also have a grade C uh, where, where the criteria automatically will go to 250C and 250D criteria loadings for any structures above 60 feet. So if you just want to do a very simple uh, medium grade C construction, you can choose that. Uh, we, we also have the Warm Islands area and also have the GEO 95 um, uh, grade A, B, and default C construction. Uh, any of these files will automatically change between light and heavy at the 3,000 foot elevation for you. Uh, but if I were to go in here and just choose the basic uh, NESC medium grade C distribution only, uh, and we say OK there, 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 there is no reference to rules 250 C and D or any of the other design criteria that might apply uh, to your structures that are above 60 feet. And of course, if you do a section sag tension, uh, we'll get a report that only has that specific information without reference to 250C or 250D. Uh, so it's very quick and easy just to generate a quick and sag tension run report. Uh, there's also a lot of other quick functions here. If you want to know how close the cable is going to be to the ground, uh, we can do that function. Uh, if you want to come in here and do a stringing chart, so you'd like to get a stringing chart so when they build a the line, <clears throat> they would know how 
how to string it so there's a span length with a mid span sag at various temperatures, return wave time, and the horizontal tension method if you'd like to use a dynamometer. Um, galloping, uh, you can also do a galloping report on this well. Uh, those are just the basic functions. Um, uh, in light, uh, you can come in here, and if you wanted to make this, say, for example, a transmission overbuild and you want to do a distribution underbuild, uh, we'll go ahead and do this very quickly here. I'll just string another uh, ACSR. How about we choose a, uh, a limit ACSR. We'll attach that at 15 feet below. Same span length, uh, azimuth, wires in a bundle of one. And uh, again, just trying to keep this out. Now, here's where we can say, let's just let's display our distribution at 60 degrees initial. Uh, we'll make our distribution a blue color. And to help us see this easier, we'll make our transmission at maximum operating. 212 degrees is what we have in our weather condition after creep, and we'll make it red. And when we do that, not only uh, do we have, need to make wires in a bundle one there, not only do we have our two wires, but we can graphically see that we start seeing a problem between the two clearances there. Uh, we can come in here and say sections, wire clearances, and we can check between the transmission and distribution and quickly see that we have a, a potential for a pretty bad violation with those two wires used in that particular span length. So a lot more capabilities within light, of course, but the whole purpose of this little uh, video here was just to show you how you can quickly generate a sag tension run. Uh, and then from there on, you can add more wires and change your criteria, uh, upload other criteria, uh, and also go into line setup and do multiple wires. For any other uh, advanced functions, we'd encourage you to play around with it, check out the help menu, check out other tech notes, and see how those work. If you'd like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you'd like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.